Many people believe that sexual orientation is a fixed and unchangeable category of existence. And for them, any professional or pastoral initiative to support people leaving homosexual behaviors and feelings is both dangerous and harmful. Yet, ask them for the evidence of peer-reviewed research and scholarship that shows categorically that on average such interventions are harmful and your request will be met with silence because it simply doesn't exist. The attempt to close down professional therapeutic and counseling work which takes seriously the goals of autonomous individuals seeking to get out of homosexual practices means that once a person identifies as gay there is no way of leaving either the identity or the lifestyle. This means that now gay is mandatory and once a person decides to go to in that direction they must stay gay in spite of the fact that science shows that sexuality is fluid and changeable. The interview that follows has an important bearing on this subject. Uh, my name is Christopher Doyle. I'm a licensed professional counselor. I'm also a former homosexual, now married to my wife of nine years. We have five children and um, for the last few years I've been also engaged um, in an organization called Voice of the Voiceless and Equality and Justice for All. And both of those organizations are civil rights organizations that fight for the rights of ex-gays, former homosexuals, and individuals with unwanted same-sex attractions who are seeking to not live a gay life but experience healing on that path in their journey. Why were those two organizations established? They were pretty much established. Equality and Justice for All and Voice of the Voiceless were established um, simply because of the in invasion of homosexual activism within the within the uh, secular American society, especially as it, as, as it relates to um, what we're seeing in our mental health field, which is really an invasion of activism. And we see that the science is no longer being respected over the politics in, when it comes to policy. If you'd like to hear the full interview, go to voicesofthesilence.tv. Subscribe at no cost to access all the interviews of those who are coming out of homosexual practices and those who support them. And don't forget to buy our DVD, Voices of the Silenced, Part 1.